the circle of fifths gives us a better understanding of how one key is related to another. It is depicted like a wheel, laying out these relationships based on the fourth or fifth degrees of the previous scales. Moving clockwise, each key starts on the fifth degree of the previous scale and adds a sharp at the seventh degree of the new scale. For example, if we start from C and count up, C, D, E, F, G. Thus, G is the fifth up from C. The seventh degree of G scale is F which must be sharped. We can keep going clockwise around the wheel this way. Moving counterclockwise, each new key is a fifth down from the tonic of the previous scale and is built on the fourth degree of the previous scale. Thus, a flat is added on the fourth degree of the new scale to maintain the pattern of steps and half steps. For example, starting from C, we can count down, C, B, A, G, F. Thus, F is the fifth down from C. The fourth degree of F scale is B which must be flattened. We can keep going counterclockwise around the wheel this way. The same thing happens with the relative minor scales which we can see in the inner circle. For example, the fifth up from A minor, the relative minor of C major, is E minor. And the fifth down from A minor is D minor. We'll find that the circle of fifths comes in very handy in constructing key transposition and chord progressions. Next time we'll look at harmony.